Hey everyone, welcome back to the Reptile Room. Today, we are gonna take a look at all of the artwork that I just got. I, I am just absolutely blown away with what, with what Megan did. She's the local artist that I gave all of my snake sheds, lizard sheds, everything that I had. And this is what I asked her. Well, she made these for me and she got, she's got plenty. So we will get into that more. And if you guys are interested in getting anything from her, specifically snake sheds that I had from my animals in the reptile room, you can reach out to her and get them. And I'm gonna keep working with her for, a, you know, for a while. And she just made all kinds of rings, pendants, necklaces, oh god, displays, just freaking crazy. But before we get into that, I've got a modification to make to the leopard gecko enclosure because Aruba keeps escaping, and uh, yeah, so that's annoying. Alright, well I'm going to go do that, and then we will come back here and do some close-ups and check, take a look at every single piece up close and just see what she's done. Some glow in the dark, some don't. Very cool. As you can see back here, this is, uh, you know, trying to step up a little bit here. We've got the uh, room tour in 4K going on. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to go down and check that video out and watch it after this one, of course. All right, let me go fix the leopard geckos. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here we are again, taking a look at the leopard geckos. I believe that Aruba is climbing up this over here, right behind it, and going out the vent. Now I have put some, uh, I put some screen on the outside, but I don't want to staple it in because these enclosures were not really designed for small leopard geckos or leopard geckos to begin with. So I'm starting to try to like think about, I should just get another stack of these. What do you guys think? I, what do you guys think? I need to reach out to Dan, maybe get a hold of him, um, but I don't know. What I'm going to do is go take an old uh, background that I have and see how it could fit in here because it's smooth paper and they won't be able to climb up it. Considering leaving the uh, coconut mats in the back and just taking the ones off the sides and cutting the um, cutting the background and just putting them on the sides. So it'd be a little bit more visual looking and hopefully contain the geckos better. So I'm gonna get into that. All right, well, I am just going to unscrew those pieces on the sides and put up these other pieces that I've already cut the size. I went ahead and decided to just cut it in half and I trimmed off about an inch uh, cause these inside dimensions are 17 and three quarter inches tall and that was 18 inches so I just stripped off an inch because I want somewhere to put a little bit of tape. Okay. One out. Ah, ah, ah. I half expected to see a gecko behind there. All right, two. All right, I don't, I really, uh, I should have painted the inside of some of these like brown or black or something to maybe hide them, you know, blend in, but hindsight, right? So, well, you live and learn, so for the future, I would probably do a different color in the background just so that it everything blends a whole lot better. Or just paint a background, but I'm just not that good, so maybe if there's an artist person out of there out there who wants to do uh do a cool background for me, I, that would be awesome. That would be super cool. You see, I like local artists, so okay, let me get these pieces in. So these are pretty much the uh, side pieces. I got a like a cactus, but we got a mountain, a mountain here. So uh, you know, we'll put these in and whatnot. Thinking we might put this one in over here because it's got the cactus on it. But let's see, let's just go ahead and toss it in. 
tape across the bottom, tape across the top, and then I will probably run tape up and down the sides because I'm just tired of trying to catch this gecko. Here in a sec, I'll show you where she was hiding, hiding behind the freaking basilisk enclosure. It was really a pain. Really, really, really a pain. Notice you couldn't even really see me. It's getting freaking warm in here. I mean, when that fan turns off, it really gets hot. <laughs> it really does. just taping the bottom edges and maybe that back because I don't want to block the uh, I don't want to block the entire ventilation system and then go and stab holes through this background and then have the animal again escape okay I'm just gonna I'm gonna tape it up the edge about halfway we'll try that we'll start with that Maybe it'll deter her until she's just too too thick to fit through there. Look at who came out to take a look. She's doing good up there. Okay guys, so here's what I've done. Uh, you know, just kind of stuck this one in. The vent is over there. There's the metal netting, mesh netting. You know, it's the enclosure's still looking good. You know, I'm not super sold on this. I would have liked to have kept the other look. Uh, I thought it did better. This one you see isn't quite as long. There's still about a foot on the front of each side. So, I mean, I would need a background that's 17 inches tall by three, six, nine feet. You know, so it's really just uh, custom stuff. Custom, custom. And I know you can't see any leopard geckos in here. They are all currently hiding along in the back and behind the uh, behind the cocoa fiber mats. So, well, that's gonna do for this little update. Hopefully, I, I will let you guys know. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you where she was. We got the bass lie. I know that's not their proper term. Yeah, look at this guy. Super cool animal, shedding, shedding, shedding. Okay, so she was tucked back in this gap that I can just stick my hand in. So, you know, that was fun. It was all the way back there. I got her to come around to food on this side where it's a little bit thicker, hard to see down in there, but it's a little bit wider and uh, yeah, that was just a pain. So glad I got her out of there. It did take about three hours because I don't want to tear apart the room. She is not escaping the room, that's for sure. I've done my due diligence. There should be no escapes from the room. So as long as I keep the doors closed, you know, they'll all stay in here. So I gotta top off their food, give them some water, and then these leopard geckos are gonna be set to go for a while longer still. All right, let's go back to that jewelry stuff and the artwork.
Look at this cool piece. Probably one of my, uh, yeah, it's gotta be one of my favorites. This is Ronnie's back piece. It is a really cool little pendant. Very happy, she did such good work. Look back here, there's actually another one. And it's a little hard to see in the camera, but if you get down in line with it, you can just see all the, all his little horns and scales. Very cool. She made three of those. So, very cool. Sudan plated lizard plates here, which are very cool. This is a black rat snake that was living in my parents' house, big shed. The basilisk lizard. This one's just cool. I might even make this like a door pull, honestly. Let's take a look at some of these. She made this ring. This has a little bit of Ronnie shed on it. That's Ronnie leg shed there. Another pendant with some ink. She didn't mix it in the, um, she didn't mix the ink in, which I think looks pretty cool because you see like the little green splotchy back there and it's see-through. Very cool, very cool. More plated lizard. Some Ronnie scales there on the right. Another pendant. The, uh, this is just cool. Like it's a big pendant, but I mean, it's very sharp. It's really cool, really cool. All righty. This is the basilisk. I'm very happy with this because this is hard to get like a back piece shed similar to Ronnie's off of the basilisk. So very cool. Some of these also glow in the dark, so that'd be pretty sweet to see. And we'll have to check that out here too. All right, guys, I'm thinking about doing a doing a giveaway with this one. Let me know, uh, I, I gotta look into it, but I, I, wanna, I wanna send this out to somebody, wherever you are. I've gotta figure out how to do it first, and then uh, we will be doing a giveaway. Let's look at the big art pieces. So you see we've got the three ball pythons here of the morphs, very cool. Jane, Luna, and uh, our new snake, Andromeda. Uh, you know, still one, still not entirely sure about her name, so it's just a Mojave. You can see the pattern and a little bit of the color changing there. Very cool. This was that little corn snake we had for a while, uh, who has moved on to a friend of mine, and he is going to get this piece here, which is very cool. He should get a kick out of that. This is Caboose, big piece of Caboose along with another section of Jane and Luna. So these three here are definitely, you know, I'm very happy to have Luna pieces in here. So gotta make some shelves and stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I didn't even show you this guy. This little, this is that black rat snake. Get the no glare. Look at his little derby face. And this one is, uh, through as well so you can see it from both sides it's a hanger oh, she really knocked it out of the park and if you guys want any art from her all of her information is going to be down below her name is Megan she's very cool man she really knocked it out of the park like knocked it out of the park thanks so much Megan this stuff's awesome hope everybody reaches out about getting some pieces from you Oh man, I'm just super, super happy with all this stuff. It's given me a little bit more work to do now in the room because I have to put all, I want to put a lot of this on display and just show it off. Like I said, you got to reach out to her down below. Link's in the description. Her name's Megan. It's on Facebook. You have to go follow her on Facebook. And I think she has an Instagram. I need to make sure. This stuff, super cool. Very happy. Hopefully the change I made is going to keep Aruba in a little bit better. Uh, you know, animals are escape artists and I did design those enclosures to be pretty much just for snakes. So I might have to get a, another one figured out and ordered up with some smaller vents. Okay guys, well I hope you like this video. I hope you like this artwork. Again, gonna do a giveaway. Um, you know, I just 
am not entirely sure how yet because it'll be the first one. So I am going to do it and I believe that this is going to be the piece. So, you know, should be, should be pretty cool. But all right guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, liking the video and commenting, join in the community chat. And yeah guys, we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next video.